We are joined now by one of the stars of that Gopher team, Hope Brander, put up a huge slash line this season. 357, 18 homers, 56 RBI. Hope, let's start with this past Sunday night. You're all gathered. You're watching the selection show. I've seen the video. The screen pops up that you're the number seven national seed, meaning the chance to host not just a regional, but a super regional. I saw the excitement, but try to describe for us what that feeling was like to watch that as a team. That was probably one of the most amazing feelings I have ever um, felt. It was just completely... It, it, I can't even put it into words. It was just the most exciting thing that I think a lot of us have ever um, been through. It was just awesome. And I know it was a really happy moment 24 hours after the disappointment of coming up just short against Michigan. I was sitting in this very seat next to our softball analyst, Elise Meneker, when you came to bat with two outs in the bottom of the seventh, down by one and a runner on. As soon as the ball left your bat, I thought it was gone. It goes to the warning track. Do you think that ball at that time when you hit it, did you think it had a chance to leave the yard? Um, you know, I mean, I did for a second. I thought maybe it would poke out, but you know, when you hit a home run, you just know straight off the bat. And it wasn't, it definitely wasn't one of those. I thought maybe that I would get lucky and it would maybe squeak over. But, you know, I was seeing the ball and I just thought that it might have been over, but it didn't. <laughs> you did have two home runs in the Big Ten tournament. You had three and four games dating back to the finale against Northwestern. Do you feel like at this point you are swinging the bat as well as you have all year long? Um, yeah, I think that so far I've been pretty, um, I've been pretty good up to bat. I've probably stayed the same all season. I don't think that I've hit my peak yet, but I think that I've, um, been pretty consistent. You have a unique perspective on this team having played a year of college softball elsewhere at Oregon State before joining Minnesota. So you can answer this question in a different way. What makes this group and this team, this 2019 Gopher squad special? Um, honestly, it's just our atmosphere. Um, we all come out every day ready to practice, and we're all excited to be at practice. And it's just an amazing feeling to go to practice every day and to go to games every weekend and just know that the people that you're with are working just so hard, and you see how hard that they work every day. And you just have so much confidence in everybody behind you and your defense and our pitching. And our coaches are just absolutely amazing. And we all just want to learn, and I think that's what makes us so successful, is just eager to learn. You also mentioned your pitching as one of the reasons that this team is special. Sidney Smith, Amber Pfizer have both been terrific inside the circle. Do you ever feel bad for opposing hitters when they have to face Amber when she has her best stuff? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, you know, Amber and Sid both are two amazing pitchers. And, you know, when they're on, they're on. And, yeah, I do feel bad for the opposing teams just because, you know, as a hitter, you like, I know how hard it is to hit off of those two pitchers because, like, during fall when they would pitch to us and we would have to hit off of them, I know how hard it was for me. So I know when teams are struggling that, you know, it's kind of getting to them. But... You know, it's amazing to have those two on our team. Minnesota first baseman Hope Brandner, kind enough to join us as the Gophers get set to host regional play starting this Friday in Minneapolis. Hope, appreciated your time, enjoyed meeting you. Wish you and the rest of the Gophers best of luck. Hope to see you next weekend in the Super Regionals as well. Thank you.